Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step demonstration of making Windows Server 2008 Enterprise Edition to act as DHCP server. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Now before we go with the installation part and the main deployment part, let me tell you why we require a DHCP server. Now suppose that you are having a network with one server and 500 computers as client. And for every computer to communicate in the network, we need one important thing that is called IP address. So if an administrator starts giving manual IP addresses to 500 computers, might be that he can make some mistake and he can act into, you can say land into a problem in which two or three machines can have the same IP address. So for that, in order to avoid such a problem in which the machines can be out of the network, we, can say, we, we create a pool, you can say a database of the IP addresses and when the client comes into the network, ons into the network, it automatically requests for the IP address and the server will automatically give one free IP address from its pool of IP addresses to the client so that client will be able to act into the network. And everyone, please, uh, I will also let you open one example. If you ever go to this, you can say an ordinary service, which is called internet service, in which you just connect your computer, laptop, or a tablet to the ISP. The, every ISP server is having its DHCP server, in which they give you an IP address so that you should be able to be connected to the World Wide Web. So if you see the present network scenario, DHCP server is regarded as one of the most important server. So I'm having on my screen is Windows Server 2008, in which in the previous video, I have already demonstrated you two videos in which I have demonstrated how to install Server 2008. And secondly, in which we have demonstrated a very depth, that is how to make it as a domain controller and how to make it as a DNS server. And we have added one client, Windows 7, into 2000 Server 8. So in the same, uh, in the next video, that is this video, I'm using DHCP server to configure and I will be using the same that is Windows 7 as the client. So let us begin. So let us go to this uh, input keyboard and click on insert control alt Dell and let us type the administrator password. So let us uh, go for this view and full screen mode. So now you can see that I'm coming on the desktop and let us wait for the server manager. So now you can see that uh, it is having the role of Active Directory Domain Services and DNS server. So after that, we will be having the DHCP server into this in couple of seconds. So before we, we start configuring the DHCP server, let us first of all install the DHCP server. So same uh, steps that is cons uh, click on add roles, click on next, which is the basic screen. So over here you find DHCP server. So just check this box and now click on next, click on next and now let us start. So here you can find that the server IP address is 192.168.1.100. That's a server IP. So I will be taking this as a server IP address and you can say the server IP will be opting as the DHCP server address. So click on next. So parent domain is anand.net and prefer DNS server is IPv4. So click on validate. So yes, it is valid and it has resolved. So if you have any other alternate DNS server address like a, a public DNS server, you can even put that, you can uh, make that uh, IP, uh, DNS server address to also come to that client machine. So I'm not having it, so I will just leave it, but it's an optional thing. So click on next. So here you can find it is having the wins, which is not required for applications on this network. So wins was a previous DNS server. So right now in the current scenario, we don't require it. So let us click on next. So now I have to provide the scope range in which we can say the database of the range. So let us click on the add and now let us give me the scope name. So I can say IP address scope number one. So starting IP address, that is 192.168.1.101 because 100 is the server IP. So I want that the IP address should be starting from 101. So let us go with the ending IP address, that is 192.168.1.105. I'm having only five machines or two machines. You can take it like that. So I just give the subnet mask, that is 255.255.255.0, which is a class uh, C. Uh, IP uh, subnet mask. So default gateway, I will be giving the server IP. So that is 192.168.1.100. 
so subnet type is the wired which is leased you can uh, lease it for six days or eight days you can make it so so make it sure that it is activate the scope so click on ok so now you can see that the scope one has been created so you can add many scopes you can edit the scope you can delete the scope you can make any changes so click on next so over here make it sure that you disable it because I'm not using any DHCP version 6 IP address into my network so I just disable it so I click next and now credentials will be the same so I just click next and now you can see that it will it is giving us all the details of all the settings which has been done so this is a beautiful part of this server 2008 administration so whenever we are going to click on install so before install it gives us all the information so may it be it any server which is IIS server DHCP DNS everything is very much clear so if you want to go to any setting you can click on this previous so click on install So after that installation, it will not take much time. We will be rebooting the server and then we will be coming with the activation of the scope. And then we will be going to the client and let us see whether it will be it is getting the IP address from the DHCP server or not. So let us wait. So collecting the installation results. Oh yes. So now you can see that the installation has succeeded. So click on close. And now you can see that it is acting as a DHCP server. So what you have to do is to just go to the start, programs, administrative tools and click on DHCP. So just double, uh, plus, click on plus click on IPv4, click on scope, click on scope options and address pool. So now if you want to, you can say add, uh, you can say right click, if you want to address pool right click, if you want to give a new exclusion range, if you want to exclude some IP addresses from this, you can exclude it, but I don't want to exclude anything. So address leases are there, so reservations, so if you want to reserve, so I just go to this, so I just click on right click on this server and click on refresh. So let us go to the client and let us go to the see that whether it has taken the IP address or not. So I just go to ABC that is the password. So let us go to this uh, CMD and let us go to this IP config. Let us first of all release this so that uh, it is being released and let us go with this IP config slash renew. Oh yes, voila. So now you can see that uh, it has taken the IP address. So if I go with this command, let me CLS it, IP config slash all. So now you can see that uh, it is acting as a DHCP server and it has provided it as IP address that is 192.168.101. So let us ping the server that is 192. And server is pinging. And if I go with this, that is IP config, it is giving the IP 101. So if I want to reserve some IP address, so let us reserve this. So for that, I have to make it sure that I'm having this physical address with me. That is 08027A0B436. So let us now change this IP address and let us reserve 1, uh, 192.168.1.104 for this machine. So let me go back to the server and let me show you how to make a reservation. So let us uh, plus, uh, click on plus sign of IPv4, scope, and let us click on this reservation. So right click and click on new reservation. So reservation name is, I can take any computer that is, uh, uh, I can say it is boss computer. Or I can say, chalo, uh, I can uh, say that is it is team leader computer. So. I want to give the IP address that is 192.168.104 and now which is very important that I have to provide the MAC address so 08002780B436 so let us click on add 
and now click on close so now you can see that it has taken one IP address and everywhere we have to refresh the server so click on refresh and now let us go back to that client let us see whether it has allocated that IP address so let us CLS and now let us give this command of IP config that is IP config slash release so the IP has been released so IP config slash renew and now let us see that whether it has been allocated 104 or not let's wait oh yes so now you can see that the IP address has come that is 192.168.1.104 so you can say you can add more options like uh, if you can uh, go over DHCP like scopes or address pool so if you right click on new exclusion range if you want to have some scope options you can just have some more scope options so if you have DNS or router name or any backup server name you can do with if you have IPv6 you can go with that IPv6 so in this video I have demonstrated you how to install DHCP server on uh, server 2008 how to allocate the IP address to the client how to reserve an IP address for the client how to have some reservations scope options and how to do everything regarding DHCP server so do give it a like to this video thank you so much